it's that time of year again. The Razorbacks open the season tomorrow. And Hog fans, of course, getting ready today to cheer on those Hogs. You bet. 4029's Taylor Pinnell joining us now with how university police are preparing for the fans. Yeah, the tailgate tents are going up and the university staff is getting ready for all the Razorback uh, fans who plan to cheer on those hogs. University of Arkansas Police Department Captain Gary Crane says some of the streets surrounding the stadium like Razorback Road, Stadium Drive, Maple Street and West of Garland will only be open to vehicles with the right credentials. The streets will be restricted four hours leading up to kickoff. Officers will be at the intersections monitoring. He says officers with different agencies will assist with game day activities. Uh, in addition to the University Police Department officers, we have over 220 officers from other agencies that assist with this operation every game. So there will be a lot of officers in place directing traffic, keeping pedestrians safe, and looking for anything out of the ordinary. Also new this year on the hill just north of the Razorback Stadium will be a new pregame destination for Razorback fans called the Hogtown Street Festival. It begins four hours prior to each home game kickoff. It has music and food and mascot appearances live in Fayetteville. Taylor Pinnell, 4029 News. Starting tomorrow, Hawk fans will be able to buy beer and wine inside Razorback Stadium. 429's Jamie Weiss is joining us live now for uh, On the Hill with how police are preparing. Jamie. Hey, Paige and Craig. Yeah, for the first time in Razorback history, Hog fans 21 years and older will be able to cheer on the Hogs with some liquid courage inside the stadium. However, according to University of Arkansas rules, alcohol will not be allowed in the student section. University of Arkansas police will not only be looking out for the alcohol near that student section, but also at the 12 shops along the concourse where beer and wine will be sold. Police say alcohol sales will not add additional responsibilities for their game day plans, and fans say they don't expect folks to be rushing to purchase beer or wine. I think it's fine. I mean, they're drinking plenty right out here, so I think if somebody wants to pay $9 for a beer when they get inside, more power to them. We'll hear more from some Hog fans ahead of tomorrow's season opener tonight on 4029 News at 9 and 10. Reporting live in Fayetteville, I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News. <laughs>